Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, Excel tips and tricks to make your Excel dashboards and charts look amazing. All right, uh, today I had a user in a forum that uh, had created a radar chart, much like you might see here, and this user noticed that every time he created a radar chart, Excel already put in the zero for this zero data point. So notice the zero right here. Uh, it represents the center point of the chart. The one is the first ring going on out to the fifth ring, which is the five. Now, uh, this user had a client that uh, was creating this radar chart for and wanted to find out how can I get rid of this zero because my client only wants to see ratings from one to five. There is actually no zero. How do we do that? So. Uh, what that made me think of automatically and uh, ended up being the great solution for the user was uh, to change this axis. See, this is the actual vertical axis of a radar chart. And let's look down here, um, change the number format of this vertical axis. So let's take a look at how number formats work. Uh, uh, there's four sections of code for number formats. They're separated by semicolons. The first one is positive a semicolon, how it's going to treat any negative numbers, a semicolon, how it should treat any zero values, a semicolon, and then how should it uh, format any text. So let's look at how we do that. So we've got our radar chart here. I'm going to click in the chart. I'm going to right click on this vertical axis and you see it brings up this format axis uh, menu item on the pop-up menu. So let me click on that and now what we have here is we want to go to the number area in our format access dialog box then down here at the very very bottom is a custom number format so uh, normally what you'll see in Excel is uh, the custom norm number format typically starts out with this pound comma pound pound zero this is for the positive numbers after the first semicolon you'll see there's a negative number and that's how it's going to treat negative numbers notice there's no zero and no text uh, formatting so what we want to do is we want to tell Excel how to treat a zero it encounters in any of these numbers in our vertical axis so we want to put a semicolon in there then we want to finish it with another semicolon and this blank or null value right in there uh, is going to be how it's going to treat zeros and then the final one would be how it's going to treat text as well and since I don't care about that I can leave that blank too so it's this will actually cause it to hide the zero value uh, click on add and that custom number format has been saved click on close look at that our Excel chart has removed zero from this radar chart uh, being that first data point so uh, but this got me thinking how else could we make this even more awesome uh, and what if the client wanted to just totally hide all of these grid lines here uh, at the um, zero point so what I thought we could do is we're going to kick this up a notch and show you that uh, what we want to do is we want to create an additional data series that's going to be halfway between the point we uh, start with and the next point that we want to hide. So uh, since this is zero going out to one, I'm going to create a series that starts at one half or 0.5. Let's go ahead and close this and delete it. Uh, let me expand a column of a series that I've already created. So we've got uh, the original radar chart here with the ratings and the characteristics. I'm going to add an additional series here of one half, which is once again between zero and one. And I'll show you why we're doing this at a half in just a second. Let's highlight that entire data range, go up to our insert ribbon. Let's go create the chart, which in the charts area is other charts. And here at the very bottom is the radar chart. So let's go ahead and select that. And let's move it up so you can kind of see it next to the data. So look what we've got here. We've uh, uh, we've got two series. We've got this hide zero range, which is showing up in red right now, and we have this blue bar uh, that is our original data series that is going to sh uh, show up around the radar chart. I don't need this legend, so I'm going to click on that and hit delete. Now, uh, we want to change our number format on the uh, vertical axis. So I'm going to right click on it, go to format axis. Once again, I'm going to do my number area, click on custom and I'm going to choose or create this custom format with those two semicolons at the end there and click on close you'll see the zero is now gone now what we want to do is we want to right click on this 
data point. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of this data series, I should say. I'm going to change the color of this red data series, which is the hide zero range data series. And we're going to expand it, make the point size on this about 11, 11 and a quarter for this chart of this size. And we're going to make this white. That will overlay on top of these grid lines and kind of mask it and hide it. So let's do that. Let's right click on this, uh, uh, click on that series or right click on that series, I should say. Let's do format data series in the pop-up menu. Let me move this over to the right just a little bit so that you can see it. What we want to do is we want to change the line color of this and we want to change it from automatic, which is that red color, to solid line. And then we want to change it the color to white, which is going to be up here in the top left hand corner. Click on OK. Now, the last thing we need to do is click on the line style. And we need to change the width of this line style. And we need to move this up to about, oh, about 11 and a quarter should probably do it. Uh, if I hit tab uh, or anything else, it's now taken that value. And let's hit close. Let's take a look at that. It's pretty close. Look at that. It's uh, almost obscured the center point. It's kind of obscured those. Uh, those the rest of the spines but not quite big enough so I'm gonna right click and hit format data series on that series or click on it and hit control one I'm gonna go back to the line style I'm gonna make it just a little larger let's try 12 see how that kind of works close uh, it's getting there let me go take a look and see if we can expand it let's try 13 hopefully that's not too large Ah, it's getting pretty close, uh, maybe uh, 14 or so. Um, noticing that the resolution on this is going to be a little different on every computer. Uh, we've just about gotten rid of that entire uh, uh, central spines or grid lines that we were seeing. Let's go to 15 and see if that's big enough. We go. So let's take a look. Um, we have obscured the grid lines coming in on this radar chart. We've essentially made a hole in our radar chart with our custom number format. We got rid of the zero. Uh, now note, uh, even though this hole looks like it's there, uh, it will work as long as our uh, radar chart stays this size. If I click on the chart and expand it just a little larger, notice you start to see that point come back and the rest of the spines come back. If I make it a little bit larger, you can see more of them. There's that series that we've got in there. Um, but uh, because I'm expanding the size of that, it's going to st uh, not be big enough, and I'd have to keep expanding the point size of that line style of that inner series. But kind of a neat little trick, as long as your charts don't change in size a great deal, uh, can work, but it obscures that center point, keeps that first data ring. Uh, so we've created a hole hidden our zeros and uh, hopefully you found this uh, quite helpful so once again this is uh, Steve True with excel dashboard templates.com please visit our blog and sign up for our YouTube channel as well so that you're sure to get the latest posting delivered directly to your inbox thank you